remember when I was growing up back in school. And you know the in school kids munaikia na wanted, you know. Somebody oh, yeah. somebody does something to you. Probably they write you on the noisemaker ama you know they go report you to the teacher or something and then unamfanyia wanted. <laughs> so in boarding school the way we used to do when somebody messes you up you just chill and wait until closing day. Let's say now tomorrow guys are closing school. So tonight you put soap inside our socks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you go to where somebody sleeps. Oh no. <laughs> That is prison you know, lifestyle. Yeah, guys used to guys used to do that. You know, you just mess somebody and they'll keep quiet. They'll even be laughing with you. You know, you'll be like oh, best no, friends for the rest of good. the time. That's not good. But they have ju- they have timed you that the night before you sc- the, the school closes, utakipata. I know a lot of people do this in marriage. Oh yeah. You know, your <laughs> spice, your spice. Yeah, oh, she's still your spice or he is yeah, your, your spice. spice. Your spouse hurts you. And then you decide where we go. You even you even say sorry, you hug, you make peace, things go back to normal. But in your mind, you've prepared how one day an opportunity will present itself and you will revenge. I think for me, to be honest, and I know you know this, I know because I've told you. There are many times when I find opportunities to revenge, and it comes exactly the way you you, you know that thing you did to me. The opportunity comes in the exact same way and I have the exact same opportunity to do the exact same thing. That's true. And sometimes I've not been very nice, guys. It's true. Yeah. Especially early in our marriage. You know, people usually say that the first year of marriage is usually the hardest. It's a rocky. It's usually... There was a research that was done and they were saying that the first three years are the make or break. Uh, of course, that can be contested. I think it's relative yeah. based on a lot of factors. But I think the first few years are tough because... Those are the years you are trying to shed off something that you've been used to and enter into this new culture. Yeah. You know, by the time you are crossing to the third year, fifth, tenth, you are now adjusting into the marriage. But before that, you know, there's this thing you've been doing your entire life and now you are trying to adjust. And me, I used to be the guy who would be very... I, I know how to scheme. Oh, yeah. I know how to scheme. If somebody messes me up, I'm not the violent type, so I won't fight with you. But I just scheme until a right <laughs> moment when I have the opportunity to revenge and do exactly what you did to me. I know. And even guys in school used to tell me, hey, Oh, really? Hey. Where is? Hey. They'll be like, Hey, you were cut his name before go over. <laughs> so I, I remember mm-hmm. I remember an experience that mm-hmm. I had. There's mm-hmm. this day we drove back home and I think it was a bit drizzling. So we had some stuff in the boot and I had my big handbag. I was coming from work actually. And I carried my big handbag. I had a few things next to where I was seated. So the majority of the heavy load was still left behind and it's drizzling. So I told Curtis, hey man, you're the man in this marriage. You're the one to carry the heavy stuff upstairs to the house. I'm like, and he's like, no, we help each other. And I'm like, my hands are already full. I have my phone here. I have my handbag and I have these other things. By the like, way, her, her hand being full eh, <laughs> was a <her> phone. <laughs> And a handbag this size. <laughs> it was no. I'll show you my handbag. Here's my handbag. It's so a big handbag. My, she was like, my hands are full. I can't help you. <laughs> Imagine she went upstairs and left me there in the rain to carry all those things, <laughs> and she could have carried one. Honey, or two it things. was drizzling. It was drizzling. So uh-huh. I went to the house, and then I think literally he would have carried them. He just wanted an excuse for me to have balance, whatever I'm carrying, so that he can also carry the same weight that I'm carrying. And I'm like, babe. Just put in the extra effort and bring the things upstairs. I mean, I'm the lady here. I got the house. Maringo. I got the house. Life went on smoothly. Let me tell you guys. I don't know when this came. <laughs> I, I was just caught off guard. He was like, well, again in the car. Another think, time now. Yes. I think we're supposed to leave. Mm. His perfect timing comes. Skimming day comes. And he hadn't planned for this one. So it's natural when the car we are from somewhere. I think we're supposed to go to... We used to go to Crave Kitchen a lot to have dinner. We still do. So we're supposed to offload the car and then go back to uh, to the place we are supposed to have dinner. I think Curtis rushes to the house and then leaves me the shopping. I was like, this is your day, honey. You're carrying the stuff up. I'm like, you're unfair. You need to help me carry this thing. And I'm like, it's like, he was not showing sympathy. Nothing. <laughs> I, Aki. 
you know what i said it hurt me to the bone like in the inner of hearts that <laughs> oh it was so painful babe it was so painful and i'm like vengeance is the worst thing to do to a woman okay, i'm sorry it was so bad i actually cried you did yeah i cried when he left and then when he came back head wet i'm like what the hell is wrong with this husband okay, i'm sorry i really cried it was so bad you couldn't tell that i had cried me was just happy yeah, i know you were happy that you revenged yeah but it's bad <laughs> bad guys because you know you'll feel good that eh hey, they've gotten a taste of their own medicine but if you are really one with this person their heart will catch up with you at some point yeah. and for me yeah there, there are many times I've wanted to revenge and it's not that I plan it's not that I'm <laughs> I, it's not that I organize situations I just find myself in that environment and I remember ha she did this to me <laughs> this is the right time you know But as I've been growing, I've yeah. come to realize no, that's not what God really wants. Because for me, I usually try to compare my relationship with you and my relationship with God. So I ask myself, if God was to do this to me, mm-hmm. how would I feel? Yeah. I would not feel nice. Yeah. Okay, so I will not do this to my wife. And this is our yeah. four minutes. Yeah. So we bump the clock. Yep. So conflict resolution, how to fight fair. Number one for me what I've learned. Avoid your communication is very important eh? avoid things like you always do this to me you know it sounds like it's just an innocent word always and not with wings but okay okay i'll cut that I'll cut no that. it's okay it's okay you can put it you, you avoid things like you are always selfish you are always revengeful you always do this to me because truth the truth of the matter is that if you really interrogate your spouse you realize that they don't always do that yeah it's just one or two things yeah. but you know when you're angry you tend to get into these absolute sort of descriptions yeah where you tell your spouse you are always like this you are always like that yeah. and you don't realize that the more you are telling them that in our marriage is funny in a way you're actually making them to become that mm. so So like you're, decree- yeah. you're decreeing something that shouldn't be decreed in their lives yeah. your tongue the power of your tongue yeah. i think what had said for me this the word we like we like using with cat is fishing that's not yeah. fair yeah fishing is not fair yeah. at all Going like to the past and bring things from the past that i did let's say i didn't like example um i didn't wash dishes that day or let's say we fought about a particular thing and then this time it's a fresh new thing that has cropped up and you need to deal with it you start bringing things that we already solved in the past last you year. remember last time you also did this and that yeah, yeah. that's not a fair yeah. fight actually you should yeah. bring things from the past that you already resolved and yeah. that's why we say resolved resolve your issue when you have the time and mm. when you have the, that particular moment to resolve it mm. create time to resolve things so that you don't carry them to the future because yeah. one day it's just going to explode and it will not be a pretty picture yeah like baby you cried yeah i cried okay baby <laughs> <laughs> you really hurt me with your vengeance okay. mm.